Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. This is a look at our market leading stocks via our proprietary scans for the coming session. This is going to be for Monday, January 27th, 2013. We've got a very one side one sided day going here and that's certainly to the downside. What you're going to see throughout the uh, scans are a lot of downside CPS, CPS signals. Those are continuation pressure signals, meaning that they're, they're the setup in the in the range of the bars is is uh, is big enough to uh, have a probability of, of falling through to the downside on Monday. Notice there's a there's a ton of volume deviations here. There's a lot of volume on the sell off. Let's look at some of the individual VWAP and open close deviations to to get a little better feel for uh, what's really uh, moving above and beyond what the market's doing itself. Biogen's uh, three percent below the open and very very nicely below the day's VWAP. Altera, 4% below the day's open and almost a percent and a half below the day's VWAP. Wind Resorts is having the stuffing taken out of it. 5% below the day's open and 2% below the VWAP. That's a big move. Uh, Sandisk, 3% below the day's open. And most of these have uh, downside CPS, CPS conditions. It's always good to, uh, to note the stocks that are bucking the trend here and that have an upside condition. Got a Contra Candle going in Baidu. That's actually playing out above the day's open and so is Entertainment Arts EA. Moving on to the financials, almost universal to the downside here with the CPS conditions. Couple couple on the buy side, um, Sally Mae, which has already been way down this week. Uh, ICE has an RPS and USB has an RPS. Deviations are as follows. Um, uh, Morgan Stanley, MetLife, MasterCard all have open closed deviations so they're going to be putting, putting up very, very bearish candles on the chart. And MasterCard even has a VWAP deviation as we go into the close here today. Moving on to the uh, to the energy patch. Uh, not a lot of signals here, but there is some some pretty good weakness. Valero, which is one of the higher beta names, is three percent below the day's open. And Arch Coal and BTU are also notably weak. Moving on to the generals. Back to the universal downside bias here. Real, uh, real heavy to the downside here. Best Buy has open close deviation more than uh, about three percent below the day's uh, the day's open. That was on a little bit lighter volume. Pretty big down day also in uh, VMware, and that's on pretty decent volume. That one has a downside CPS condition. Now, finally, moving on to the commodities. Commodities are pretty weak. We've got. Uh, Kind of a mixed bag. There's not the flight to quality that a lot of people were, were hoping for with gold because the uh, the dollar is uh, is mostly stronger today. Uh, Alcoa, ABX, and Mosaic will have downside uh, uh, trading going on with uh, volume bumps. Uh, Mosaic MOS, two and a half percent below the day's open and has a uh, downside CPS condition. Potash, another agricultural name, is very very weak and has a downside CPS. And so does U.S. Steel, the letter X. So a lot of weakness out there, guys. Um, so take care on Monday. Definitely uh, have some shorts ready to go for some continuations. And it could, could move kind of fast. All right, folks, have a good weekend. I will see you next week. This has been Rich for TradeSite.